it's your boy Sean. It's your girl Candy, and, and we, we like them for life, life forever, for always. With y'all, let's go. And we back with a banger, banger, banger. Today we are going to be doing a mukbang story time. Mm. Mm -hmm. This story time is Lily Candy's story time because it dramatically affected her, so she says. But, oh, I say. But it's a good story. It's a fun, funny story. <laughs> It's funny to hear, but it's not funny from her. It's funny to him oh because he did it to me. Okay, so the food we got today is Urban Bird. Urban Bird. Before we get started, let's kind of show y'all how the food looks. Can y'all see me? <laughs> Oh, we got some fries. Fry for me, fry for you. Whatever this is. Pickles. Y'all wanna see it? Ta da! Brownie uh. for my brownie. <laughs> All right, so break it down, baby. Tell, tell me what happened. Break hold it on, down. Hold on, you forgot to tell them to do something. All right, my bad. If y'all want us to do more story times, comment down below. Mm -hmm. But if you like this video, Give us a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And hit that post notification so, so you never miss a beat. Okay, y'all, let's get into the story time. Break it down, Booker. All right, so give them the whole rundown about how the day started, what we had planned, okay. and then tell them what happened. While you do that, I'm about to grow up. So we on a cruise, y'all. Imagine Carnival Cruise. It's a very luxury, nice, tropical experience. Mm -hmm. We got up, we went to breakfast. We were going to a private island and I think we went horseback riding and snorkeling in Mexico, Puerto Vallarta. To get off the boat, you gotta go through like security and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we had to get on a smaller boat. It was like a speedboat, like super close to the water. I can reach down and touch the water. That's how close it was to the water. And we in the middle of the ocean. We went horseback riding first. That was fun. We got to see a waterfall. We went on a hike. Fun, fun. I'm having so much fun. Let's speed up the time, all right? We get back on the boat and they're taking us to a private island. The population was like, what, 60 people mm -hmm. on the island? We stopped in the middle of the water on the way to the private island. And they like, okay, time to go snorkeling. I'm scared for my life. Yo, her biggest fear is the water. My biggest fear is drowning because mm -hmm. I can't swim, baby. Mm -hmm. So they passing out the goggles. It's the goggles with the nose part on it. Mm -hmm. So it covers like your eyes and your nose. He makes us put dish soap in the goggles before we get in the water. So and like clean them. So I don't know how people was doing that that quick, but I was still trying to clean out my glasses. She was procrastinating. She didn't really want to get in that water. <laughs> yeah, I was doing it for him because he really wants to go snorkeling and I was like, okay, I'm gonna just try it. Maybe it's not that bad. Right. Mind you, water. hold on. She had a life jacket on. The possibility of you drowning is very low. Just throwing that out there. Well, we didn't have to say that. <laughs> Everybody jump in the water. So he jumped. I Another lady jump, everybody jumps in. Not me though. It was me, a lady, and this older man. I'm shaking on the boat. Like, I'm like, oh my God, like I don't want to jump in. He just swimming off, just swimming off into the freaking ocean, just having a time of his life. <laughs> he left me on the boat by myself. He wasn't waiting in the water for me. Like, baby, come on. He swam off. No, oh, we're in the middle of the ocean. So I'm just like exploring. I'm underwater. I'm looking. I'm drifting away from the boat. I turn around. She's still on the boat. Baby, get in the water. Yeah, he did like, do that. He said, come on, baby. I said, I'm hopping. This man see that I'm scared to jump in. He like, come on, I'll jump in with you. I'm like, okay. So we sit on the edge of the boat. He's like, on the count of three. One, two, three. And he jump in. She don't. I didn't jump in. <laughs> she didn't trick the old man, y'all. I wanted to see how far down he was gonna go. I think he was upset because I didn't jump in with him. Cause he looked at me when he got up I'm from under the water and just like swam away. <laughs> <laughs> now she's the only one on the boat. <laughs> now it's just me and this lady, but the lady that's on the boat with me, she's not going in the water. Like, she didn't want to go in the water. Now I'm like, okay, okay, I can do this. Ain't nobody by me, y'all. Ain't nobody by me. It's just me, myself, and the ocean. I'm like, one, two, three, and I just jump in. I hold my nose and I jump in. I come up and I'm like, okay, okay, this is cool. I'm fine. So I'm trying to get my goggles ready because they still not on my head. So I'm trying to rinse them off and a wave smacked me in my face. I was still cool. I was like, okay, it's cool, it's cool. I wipe my face off. I'm like, okay, it's cool, it's cool. And then another wave hit me in my face. Now I'm panicking. <laughs> now I'm panicking I'm, and I'm about to drown in the ocean. So the, the instructor see me and he's like trying to help me. And, and she's trying to drown him. <laughs> no, I was, I was trying to like get on his shoulders. Like 
help me like float me up but i'm pushing him underwater he didn't have a life jacket yeah, on the, the instructor didn't have a life jacket on. all he had was like he was free diving the little fins on yeah. his yeah i look down and i'm like oh my god i'm driving this man i gotta swim away from him <laughs> i'm floating away from him and he called he called a boat back over and i'm like panicking i'm just like He's like, it's okay, it's okay. I'm starting to cry. He is still not by me. Like, he did not care. Yeah, look. <laughs> he know I'm scared of water and he just left. I did not just leave her. I was already a little distance away before she got in the water. So I'm telling her, before I get, before I start drifting off and stuff, I'm like, baby, come on, like, get in the water. Come on, you're gonna be all right. She like, no, 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 like, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in right now. So now I'm drifting off. By the time I get a little distance away. I told you to wait for me. I can't wait for you. Y'all, we in the middle of the ocean. Like she just said, it's waves coming, smacking her, the, the current moving. Like, I can't just sit in one spot. Like, the water is taking me everywhere. All I'm doing is putting my face in the water, trying to see little fish and stuff. And every time I look up, I'm getting further and further away from the boat. She finally gets in. I'm nowhere near her. Now she like, Candy thinks she can drown with a life jacket on. You can, so, you can. Tell so them now, you can. Drop in the comments if you think you can drown with a life jacket on, you can. Now she almost made the instructor drown. I was pushing him underwater, y'all. I was trying to save myself. She was like real life dunking him, like trying to push up on him, pushing him underwater while so she- So I could get up. So I let him go and I'm swimming off. The boat turning around for me. I get back on the boat. I just break down in tears. Like I'm crying to this lady. This lady is like holding me. She's like, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. She's like, that's why I didn't get in the water. I was like, I should have been with you. Like, <laughs> I should have just stayed on the boat with you. Y'all know I had to hear it. Oh, you left me to drown. You left me to, to, to I was scared. <laughs> like, it's not funny because it was like really, in real life, like I was very upset. Yeah, she was really scared, y'all. And the reason why Candy can't swim is because- I don't like the water getting She doesn't nose. think she can hold her breath without her no, holding her nose. She I has can't. to hold her nose for her to go in the water. But a lot of people are like that, baby. That's why I have nose plugs. Mm. I've been trying to teach her how to swim since we got together. I don't think I'm teachable. Some people just can't swim. Yeah, she just rather be on land. Yeah. Thank y'all for listening to me, Ben, because, <laughs> baby, you left me. I did not leave you. Yeah. You didn't even come looking for me. Like, you didn't check and see if I was okay when, when I was in the water. I couldn't get over there, baby. You know how to swim. I was drifting away. Who knew how to swim? I didn't leave her. I don't listen to her. Yes, he did. She was perfectly fine. She was just freaking out. Just imagine if I, I didn't hear a thing. Just like imagine I if I would have went to go help her. I would have. I probably wouldn't be here talking to y'all today. Stop it. I'd probably be still out there in the ocean. Stop it. Somewhere drifting away. That was the worst day of my life. Not the worst day of my life, but it was like very traumatic. And it makes me not want to get in the ocean ever again. It's okay. We're going to get you a floaty. One of them little things you can sit on on top of the water. It's not that. It's the fact that I don't. It's so dark down there. Like, I don't like the dark. I don't know what's gonna touch me. Like, you feeling seaweed? Uh-uh. See, look. Thank y'all for listening to our story. Tabuka story, because y'all, I gotta hear this story all the time. Every time I ask her to go to the pool, she wanna remind me on how I left her in the ocean. Was so that's how Sean left me in the ocean. Oh, I didn't. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And hit that post notification so you never miss a beat. And if you like the video, we'll give you a chicken tender. Get a tender. We love y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.